Towards the City Once upon a time, in ancient Greece, there was a man called Byzas. Byzas was the son of Nysos, the king of Megara, a city in Greece. My son, said King Nysos one day. It is time for you to go out and make your way in the world. Find your own land and build a city there. I will make you happy, father, said Byzas. So Byzas went out with his men and looked for land. But wherever they looked, there were problems. In the first place, there were thieves, men who stole from travelers. In the next place, there was bad weather, baking sun and ice-cold rain, that meant they could not plant food. In the third place, there were monsters that ate children alive. I need help, said Byzas. We have traveled for months and months, and we have found no place to build a city. So Byzas traveled to Delphi. There, there was the Oracle of Apollo. The Oracle of Apollo was a woman who spoke with the god Apollo and saw the future. She gave advice to men from all over Greece, and her advice was always good. But if you did not follow her advice well, or if you did not respect the gods, you could end up worse than before. Still, Byzas had to go, because he had no other ideas. Oh, great oracle of Apollo! I have come all the way from Megara to speak to you. My father, King Nysos, has told me to go out and build a city. But wherever I go, there are thieves, bad weather and monsters. Please tell me, where should I go to build my city? The oracle closed her eyes and said nothing for several minutes. Byzas worried that he had said something wrong. But finally, she opened her eyes and spoke. I have asked Apollo what to do. The message is clear, you will build your city on the land opposite to the land of the blind. Byzas left Delphi confused. He did not understand the oracle's message. The land of the blind? What did it mean? He asked his men, and they gave him many ideas. One said that it might mean window blinds, a kind of curtain. But that was too easy. Another said that it might mean a foreign land. But why would Apollo want Byzas to build his city in a foreign land? For months, Byzas and his men traveled around, looking for the land of the blind. Everywhere they went, they asked people about it but nobody knew where it could be. One day, they came to the Bosporus, a strait. They took their ship to Chalcedon, a city on one side of the strait, and rested there. It was a horrible place. The streets were dirty and full of thieves and drunk people. That night, Byzas drank and drank and drank. He felt hopeless, because he had no idea where the land of the blind was. He could not go home to his father empty-handed, and he did not know what to do. The next day, feeling hungover and sad, he walked up a big hill on the side of the city. From the top of the hill, he could look out over all the houses and across the strait to the other side. Byzas gasped. How can it be? On the other side of the strait, opposite Chalcedon, was a magical land. The land was green, with many beautiful flowers and trees holding beautiful fruit. Wild sheep, pigs, cows and horses walked around, fat and healthy. There were rivers and lakes with beautiful clear water. How can these people live in Chalcedon, when such a magical land sits opposite them? They must be blind. Suddenly, Byzas remembered the words of the Oracle of Apollo you will build your city on the land opposite to the land of the blind. Byzas started laughing. I've found it. I've finally found it. He ran down the hill and shouted to his men, get on the ship. We're crossing the strait. The men, confused, did what he said. When they arrived at the magical land they laughed and cheered. There, Byzas built the city of Byzantium. It was a place of riches and magic. Over the years, the city grew in size and importance. Today, it is called Istanbul, which means towards the city, 
because men from all around the world come there still.